Oh, damn indeed. Welcome back to reviewing GD coins. Today we are reviewing Geometry Dash Sub Zero coins with Press Start, Knock'em, and Power Trip. So let's get started with Press Start. The first one has this small glow and some missing spikes, and when you go in, there's a fade and you can see the coin. So if it weren't for this one thing that I'm going to mention, this would be a D level coin. But the reason why it's a C is because it matches up with the song's coin sound. There's a lot to talk about with the second coin. So to get it, you have to skip the second orb, which sends you backwards, and the map rearranges into a new form, so that way you can get the coin. And an extra jump is required to complete it. And my final grade for this is honestly a B. And for the same reasons as Deadlock's third coin, this coin right here gets an immediate S tier. First coin of Knock'em is an immediate F tier. But let's just talk about how we could change it. The coin just drops in and it looks super ugly. Why not just leave it visible the entire time? That could really help and then have players experimenting it. You better have good reflexes if you're going to be going for the second coin on Knock'em, though. You need to swoop up to get this key in the ship part right after a wave section, which is really hard to do, by the way, into another wave section, and then to a ball. Now, even though I gave Mercy the deadlock, the reason why I'm not giving it any for Knock'em is because... The key gimmick is just simply very overused. Deadlocked was just introducing the key, and that's why that coin was an S tier. This one is an F. I feel like if you were really going to use a key, you should use it to open up a path with more difficulty. With Geometry Dash Sub-Zero, you are experimenting with 2.2 features, like clicking an orb to go backwards, but this time it rearranges, and now there's an indicator that there's something behind there, and it's not just given to you for free. You have to go through a spider challenge if you're going to get that coin. S tier. Now let's talk about some interesting coins in Power Trip. So I talked about how obstacle courses can help make coins really good, and Power Trip did a nice job with that, using the stuff that usually can kill you to help you instead. Honestly, I'm going to give this one an A. The second coin messes around with triggers in a really nice way. You click this invisible orb, and then you have to click a second one, which is only activated from clicking the first one to get the second coin. And the circle of your icon when you fly past it gives off a hint that you missed something, and it's a really good job. B. Now, for the last thing, all you have to do is just tap over and over when it says not again, and you get your coin. It's simple, but it's kind of cool. The text turning greed is a nice touch, and you getting the coin right after is another nice touch because it shows that you triggered something. Very good job, C tier. And that's it for every coin in Geometry Dash. I hope you enjoyed this series and... Damn it!